it's leap day, not sleep day. It comes once every four years, and it confuses people every time. This is a leap day miracle! Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're looking at the most interesting facts that you probably didn't know about leap years. Those years with one extra day in the calendar. A year is actually 365.25 days. Every four years, we gain one day. If we didn't adjust the calendar and say 40 years, February would almost be January. Number 5. Leap year was introduced in 45 BC by Julius Caesar. While we as humans have been practicing some form of leap year-like calendar correction for much longer, it wasn't until 45 BC that the leap year we know of today became a tradition. Before Caesar, Romans and others used a 355-day calendar, rather than the 365 days we now observe, and added an extra 22-day month every two years. When the Julian calendar was introduced in 45 BC, it began the 365-day year with an extra day added every fourth year at the end of February, a practice we still uphold today. Leap year, motherfucker. Number 4. You have a higher chance of being born with an extra toe than you do of being born on February 29th. I have an extra toe! <laughs> Not with me, of course. So the chances of being born on February 29th are 1 in 1,461. So, if my math is any good, there are roughly 187,000 people in America and around 4.5 million people around the world who were born on a leap day. I'm 10! 40! <laughs> I was born February 29th, and there have been 10 of those in my lifetime, therefore, I'm 10! Now, polydactylism is the condition where an individual is born with an extra finger or toe. The chances of being born this way are around 1 in 500, meaning that you have a much better chance of being born with an extra finger than you do of being born on a leap day. I wish I had an extra finger, then I can grab my cheese ball. If anyone could work out the odds of being born with an extra digit on February 29th, you're better at math than I am. All right, I'll do the math, but I'm not going to meet with any f***ing therapist. Number 3. There are many folklore traditions regarding marriage and leap days. And we're not even referring to Leap Day William. Did you not grow up with Leap Day William? He lives in the Mariana Trench. He emerges every four years to trade children's tears for candy. While a leap year may mean just another day for North Americans, leap days carry much more power around the world. In Greece, getting married during a leap year is said to be bad luck, and one in five couples will deliberately avoid planning their wedding for a leap year. In Finland, Scotland, and Ireland, it is tradition for a woman to propose on a leap day, and if the man refuses, he has to give something in return. In Denmark, for instance, it was customary to give 12 pairs of gloves. Critics have argued both for and against the tradition, with some arguing that it is outdated and maintains oppressive restrictive gender roles, while others see it as empowering for women. Number 2. In court, leap day does not count as an extra day. But leap year is just that, isn't it? It's an extra day. Nevertheless, if you are sentenced to one year in prison during a leap year, you're going to the slammer for 366 days. That's not fair. In 2001, an American woman tried to receive her dead ex-husband's social security benefits, which she could have had if they'd been married for at least 10 years. However, they divorced three days shy of their 10th anniversary. But she argued that the leap days accumulated and pushed their relationship over 10 years. The court disagreed. Not only is its legal status kind of confusing, but the governments of the world don't even agree on what to do about leap day birthdays. In New Zealand and Taiwan, for example, they are celebrated on February 28th. But in the UK, leap day birthdays legally fall on March 1st. England prevails. England prevails. Yeah. Number 1. Those on a fixed annual wage work for free on leap day. Oh, this is, this okay. Is really going no, on. no, no, no. Those of you collecting an hourly wage have nothing to worry about. But those of you on a salary, be prepared to work for nothing. Because salaries pay by the year, 365 days are covered. Employers generally pay the same amount each year, regardless of whether or not there's an extra day added. So employees around the world are kind of working for free every February 29th. Then I'm, then I'm quitting. I'm going to quit. Of course, the other side of the argument is that no, you're not working for free because you are paid an annual income and a year is actually 365 and a quarter days. But nevertheless, the debate rages on. If you ask me, though, I think we should just lay the argument to rest and make Leap Day an official holiday. Merry Leap Day, tourists. Merry Leap Day, closeted gay guys meeting in the city. So what do you think? Should we just go ahead and make Leap Day a holiday? I love Leap Day! 
day? <laughs> or should we cut the year down to 355 days and have an extra month now and then? Merry Labor Day, everybody! For more non-skippable top 10s and unpaid labor top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The great you on this day.